If A is equal to 5 times 10 to the 7 and B is 3 times 10 to the minus 2, by giving your answers in standard form, A times B and B divided by A. So we've got AB is 5 times 10 to the 7 times 3 times 10 to the minus 2. Now on our calculator we should be using the standard form. And this on the new calculator this looks like this. A times 10 to the X. And then on the old calculator it looks like EXP. So you need to write this in as like this. 5 times 10, 7. And no, it doesn't look right. That's how, what, how you write it. 3 times 10, minus 2. But the minus sign must be the one in the brackets on the left-hand side of the calculator. So the minus sign, which is in the brackets, 2. So if you do that, you're going to get 1... 1,500,000. Now you're asked to write your answer in standard form. So the standard form means that this number here must be between 1 and 10. So this has to be 1.5 times 10. And we need to put in a power here. To work out the power, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 10 to the 6. But B is B divided by A. So write down 3 times 10 to the minus 2 and 5 times 10 to the 5. Now, so you put that in on your calculator exactly the same before using the fraction button. Now this calculator actually gives you the answer in standard form. So it's 6 times 10 to the minus 10. However, some calculators will just give you the decimal answer like this. So what you need to do is, remember it's standard form is the first number is a number between 1 and 10. And this is 10, so how many times have I moved the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've moved it minus 10, this is what we say, because I've moved it that way this time. So the final answer is 6 times 10 to the minus 10. Now we're lucky this calculator gave the answer like this. Sometimes some calculators will just give the answer like this, so we need to know how to go from this step to this step. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to use standard form on your calculator. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.